Today I want to talk about what I think Barcelona would look like with their best possible lineup for the 2018-2019 campaign. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start up top. I think that they should do a 4-3-3, so three wingers and strikers. I feel that they should have Coutinho on the left as a left winger, have Dembele on the right as a right winger, and of course Suarez out on the top as a striker. Um, I know there's a lot of different lineups, and I know that there are people who feel that Messi should be lining up on the right wing side, but after seeing him lately, especially the preseason game, or not even preseason, but the Spanish Super Cup where he lined up on the right, it's almost like he becomes invisible. Um, you know, you've got the left fullback marking him, trading off with the stopper, trading off with the, you know, the CDM. Uh, he just seems to get lost because he's not able to create his own space, as well as lining up Dembele on the left side, uh, he doesn't seem to be as effective out there. Um, I know he can use both feet, the right, the right and the left, and he can create opportunities from the outside in, but he sure seems to get the shot off better when he's playing on the right side, cutting it over and then hitting with his left foot. So um, I think that would be the best up top lineup. Also gives Messi uh, the opportunity to play the false nine or to play the um, offensive center mid um, and then kind of as an attacking center mid but also being able to create space going left and right going in between players playing uh, through balls for for Suarez Coutinho or uh, Dembele but I do think that their best opportunity to catch the other team um, kind of in a similar fashion that they used to play with those those unpredictable left and right wingers who can go straight to the line cross it or can cut inside, take a shot, or cut inside and, and cross over the other players. I do feel that this would be a great top three. Coutinho on the left, Suarez the striker, and Dembele on the right. Um, also with Dembele on the right and Coutinho on the left, you can always move Coutinho back into a left half if you have, a, if you have some subs coming in. Uh, and put Dembele on the left as an opportunity creator. Uh, not so much as a striking presence when he's on the left. He seems to get caught more in the center opposed to making it to the line. Um, that's just my opinion. Now for the center half, I think we should play three in the center. Uh, going alongside the three up top, play uh, left half or the left two center defensive mids. Keep Rakitic in that in that uh, kind of holding back role as well as Busquets in the middle uh, with Messi up top. And, and as I referenced a second ago, I do believe that Messi is the most effective when he can play at the top of the key, creating opportunities through balls or creating opportunities by running to the right side, playing it into the right wing, moving it out to the left side, playing it in, or restarting the ball back. Uh, gives him an opportunity to get lost in the other team's defense, and that's where he seems to be the most dangerous, is when he just gets that half second where someone's not paying attention or not looking for uh, his ball. As you can see, in the last two years, Messi's most amazing runs come from one side of the box, usually the right side of the box, dribbling all the way through to the left, almost to the whole complete left side, hitting a far post or create an opportunity for another player. It's never really getting the ball um, on a breakaway and then shooting the goal. You know, that's not really where he's been most effective. It really is creating his own opportunities and either getting the assist or getting the goal. And that offensive midfield role will be able to create that opportunity for both strikers, or both wings and the striker, as well as having sturdy Rakitic. He is just one of the best defensive center mids. I know he's considered a center mid at most times, but he sure cleans up the back and creates, uh, gives a support to the defense that they need. And Busquets is a monster in the defense. So I think that's the three I would I would run with. Tristegan and goal, let's talk about the defense. Okay, so I don't think there needs to be a lot of changes compared to last year with the exception of the right back. Um, so last year, of course, Jordi Alba, pretty much an attacking left left back with PK as a center back, uh, partnered up with Umtiti, and then last year I felt like our biggest, well actually, where we have not been able to turn things around since a few years ago, since we lost Danny Alves, was that right back uh, keeping the midfielders and the other defense on its toes. I think with the with Roberto taken out of the squad or at least put in a, a, in a reserve role, I put Semedo should definitely be our right fullback. That'll give us the equal presence of attacking 
on the left back with Jordi Alba as attacking on the right with Nelson Semedo. I think that he did an amazing job, especially in the Spanish Super Cup, going all the way up the side as he has done historically. You know, the overlapping runs with the right mid or overlapping runs with the entire right side. And last year, where we weren't so effective was that they can expect Jordi Alba to make it to the offensive, uh, make it all the way into the offense on any given play, but they were able to hold back and conserve against a right back because they knew Roberto wasn't going to make it up the field, and if he did, he was going to get caught on transition on the way back. So with Jordi Alba going up the left side and Semedo going up the right, I think it'll be a huge opportunity to, to, to not only create attacks from the back, but also to capitalize on... on uh, man marking being uh, bring off by the other team. That's just how I feel. I know Lenglet came in as a center back. I don't think he's at the same level as UMTT, as well as I don't think any of our other defenders, no offense, our left back, right back, really isn't up for discussion as to who would sub in for them because those two, between Alba and Semedo, they are head and shoulders above the other team. And now with the exit of Yerimina, we really don't have a number three center back that's going to be, you know, fighting for time. I think Langley will come in occasionally, but, you know, with injuries and, and whatnot. But I, I think that four is going to be um, our starting back line. All right, now I want to talk about some of the subs and some of the new acquisitions we made on the team and how they'll play in uh, to the squad. You know, things will change as time goes by. Uh, but I feel... Arthur definitely has been fighting for some opportunity in the game. I think that he gives a great opportunity to either sub out Messi as the attacking center mid because the, the balls they were playing in the Spanish Super Cup, you could see that they had Arthur pushing up really high from the center center uh, position. He was finding himself almost at the six, six yard box uh, in, in some of the plays, making slant runs. So I know that they're comfortable with him being an attacking presence. Um, I also feel like it's a great opportunity now that we have um, Malcolm, Malcolm's a, a, a basically a right mid, and I know a lot of people are saying, why would you bring him in? He sh you know, you need to make sure Dembele's comfortable with his position with the team. I don't think they're even close to the same um, player. I don't. I think that Dembele should be playing a more of a right striker or a right wing, and I think that Malcolm is, is a right half. Now, for the most part, I do anticipate them playing a 4-3-3 with only three center mids, that doesn't leave a lot of opportunity for left or right mid, but I think depending on the team, they may play a 4-4-2, and in that case, it gives a lot of flexibility with someone like Malcolm to play right um, right, right half, and then put Dembele and Spores up as the top. I also feel like Arturo Vidal was a great pickup because he's, let's be honest, he's a, he's a defensive center mid, and he can do a great job. He'll give us a completely different uh, presence in the middle if he were to sub in for Busquets or for Rakitic. So I think that this gives us a nice cycle of subs that will not let the team necessarily fall back um, in a level of performance, but also it allows him to switch the formation with a sub. So in a case where maybe Coutinho needs to come out and he's not playing left wing, you'd be able to switch it, leave Dembele and Suarez up top, bring in somebody. You could throw Rakitic in the middle with Messi, um, Arthur, and maybe Malcolm on the right for a sub. Even if you t and you, you could change the whole formation and still having a very efficient attacking front that could change the scheme according to the other team's defense. So, just want to leave my um, ideas of how I think Barcelona should line up for the 2018-2019 season. I do think that now the squad is even more um, prepared to win the uh, Champions League final uh, with this team compared to last. Yes, we're going to miss Iniesta, but he wasn't able to play uh, enough. For the amount of season that as long as it goes, he was sitting out quite a bit. And when he came in, he, he had his spurts, but that's, he knew that it was time for him to move on so that he could not play at this same high level. So to get the most out of the players we have, I think the subs and I think the transfers that we picked up are going to make go a long way to making this team seem much more revived, have much more energy throughout the end of the season, and be able to compete at the very end uh, when normally players are getting injured or getting tired and, and did not get a break because you're afraid you're going to lose games. Thank you. Let me know your thoughts.